Rani, the part-time facilitator. The focus of the webinar is for 2022, but this would not go without a reflection on the economic indicators for 2021. The economic expert took time to provide a breakdown of the figures in key areas. Mr. Rewani notes that the Buhari government's economic sustainability plan was a success in 2021, and this is evident in the GDP growth rate, but the same cannot be said of the economic recovery plan. That's not all. He also speaks on the possibilities that could arise from the planned fuel subsidy. What's the inflation rate in Ghana? What's the inflation rate in Benin? What's the inflation rate in Togo? Inflation rates in those countries are much lower than us. Has. However, they have deregulated petrol. The only people who will lose from PMS deregulation are those who are at Hidiroko by the border. The real test for his presentation came during the interactive session as participants needed to know how to take advantage of President Buhari's recent open challenge to Nigerians on agriculture. Every megawatt of power I produce in the country, the first place it goes to, goes to Mali, because the Futajalon Mountains, where the Niger River starts from, is there. If they dam that river, then we are done. So that's why Doreen Salami said that from the reports that we have, and the president held on to it, and the president has kept on saying it. Uh, but words are, words are not enough. A panelist's review followed Mr. Rewani's presentation, during which some of his points were interrogated. And co-economist Opoyemi Agbaji speaks on what he considers the failure of the Nigerian policy environment. The biggest failure, in my view, of in the policy environment over the last few years is that we've essentially wasted an oil price crisis. And, and so we've gone through the entire oil price crisis, through the sessions, and we're still as dependent on oil for our FX and for our government revenue as we were at the beginning. So that's a crisis wasted. Um, American policy um, always takes advantages of uh, take advantage of crises to do reforms. In spite of predictions that inflation will remain structurally high in 2022, and a projected growth rate of 4.70 and 1.6 percent for the manufacturing and agriculture sectors, respectively. It appears experts have a fair economic forecast for Nigeria in 2022.